Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is Shin's Legacy. And when I loaded up the game, I couldn't figure out why everyone was recruited. Then I panned over here, I was like, right, we have a pack of manhunting cassowaries. Which, I think is going to be okay. There, I mean, there are a lot of numbers of them. So, the question will be, how quickly can we burn through them? Okay, they're splitting up a little bit, maybe, which is okay. They should all pathfind over here. But yeah, actually, if they're in a couple of delayed groups, it's going to be much better for us if we can uh, pace out a little bit how they're coming. Maybe we should get the traps back. I mean, I don't want to take out so many of them. And yeah, use up a lot of material. They were pretty effective for a long time. Oof. Um... One of the things people have said for the insect invasion, now people, I guess, in the recon armor, they actually, the, the insects might not actually be able to get through their armor, so maybe more mailing is a possibility or something like that. I mean, we could still just shoot them, too. And then when you come into melee, they're still not going to be able to get through the armor, so that's going to be okay. But that would be very interesting if they literally can't get through uh, the heavy armor. I'm going to feel a lot better about that, especially if we get the um, more recon armor production. Or maybe I should upgrade to the marine one. I like the, I like the recon armor. The marine armor is slowing people down, but it is probably a lot more defensive. Well, that was pretty easy. Um, let's just grab the ones that are still alive and issue some finish off commands. And then we've got some more meat that we might not need. Someone Is no one actually doing the finish off? Oh, there we go. Groovy. Um, I guess we'll we'll haul all of it pretty quickly, even if it just means hauling the dead bodies out of the way. Keep things a little bit neater. We've got this. Uh, Gleb, you're a cook. I think I'm gonna get you to do after you finish this. Thank you. Go ahead and provide his butchering. We'll get that sorted out. Oh, we got our free batch of chem fuel over here. Very nice. Quest expires in 16 hours. Right, the cold snap. We should just try it. What could possibly go wrong? And we'll do it for honor. For honor! Okay, it's the end of winter. Now we're getting a cold snap. Um, maybe what we could do is a real quick harvest before all these crops die. I mean, it's not going to bother the trees. Something like that. And our pods have arrived. Right, with a psychic reader, which we can install in someone's head. It is, I think, an install, not a right click to activate. Um, and I think we might have a couple of psychic readers kicking around. Let's see, why do I have all this space? I forgot I sold like a billion kibble. Well, literally thousands of kibble, actually. So the temperature is still well above freezing, although it's clearly dropping. I mean, it's still technically winter, and it's got the cold snap. I, I suspect it probably will be something where it kills off the plants, so... Um, it's going to be a little annoying, but hardly the end of the world. Maybe I'm, I'm over panicking here by doing an early harvest, because of course we're going to lose, you know, some of our, uh, our harvest doing this, but I'm betting it's, yes, it's definitely, I think it's going to get below freezing. So it's going to be good that we got the harvest, but at the same time, I don't think we've got any risks to anything at all here. Uh, theoretically, people won't be replanting because it's going to be dangerous temperatures, which is okay. And I guess one of the advantages to the cold here is anything that is sitting outside is going to be refrigerated. Okay, we haven't gone below zero. Eh, it's getting there. But yeah, all this stuff is going to be refrigerated and possibly frozen. I mean, there's still decay from being outside, but it won't really rot, and we could maybe catch up with some of our cooking projects over here. Um, I still have the fine meal. I do have a limit on fine meals. Maybe we shouldn't just because... I guess we have it because we want... Um, we want to have some simple meals around. I should almost put another fine meal job on the bottom that is due forever. If we're literally full, but we still have the means to do that, we can do that. Lead is starving. Uh, you had been, I think, forced to do the uh, the butchering, so that's probably what was going on. Gleb was stuck in a butchering uh, queue um, until things... Oh, work frenzy. I was like, why did he have a border? Did the work frenzy or not? Why did he come about have the, work, the, uh, the border? Is it because of the snaps available? It's a golden background, not red. Might Maybe that means minor uh, break risk. That's probably what that's for. Camo bottom glad yeah. Okay, golden board. So I'm still uh, getting used to the uh, having their, our colored uh, mood mod again. Construction might start to be a thing at some point. Ooh, it is. How's the flooring over here? So the flooring here is nearly done. Okay, because this is still going to be closest priority, picking up a lot of the blocks and things like that. Although, I guess with the construction, it's not based on proximity to the blocks. It's based on proximity to wherever they're standing when they 
search for a new job to do. We'll probably replace the um, the walls over here just to have the material consistent. But um, that'll be that'll be like last minute priority. We might we might do that for the floor though right away because it'll look a little bit better because it'll annoy me a bit more than the mismatched walls. I don't know why, but I think that will be the case indeed. All right, components are componifying. Research is offline still, but that's correct. Blocks are blocking. Mm -hmm. We are getting limestone now. I don't think, yeah, I've got I've got no type specified for the blocks. They're literally just grabbing whatever's closest, which is mostly going to be a question of where things are on the map or if anyone gets around to hauling things. It's still going to be a fair amount of limestone. But we did do a lot of marble, I think, for some reason. I don't remember why we ended up with a crap ton of marble. Did we buy, like, a ton of marble? Maybe that's what it was. And then I started the construction. I think I may have done exactly that. We do have a lot of silver. If we hit more merchants that can do that, uh, we can get a bunch more. We can even call in some of the uh, merchants, but I don't think we're going to bother with that. We'll probably just wait for it to happen organically, because it's not like we're not getting some other blocks. It's not like other things aren't happening in our base right now. You know, things are, are occurring, which is good. The recon helmet, right. You started the recon helmet, which consumes some advanced components. Uh, and then we're just going back to advanced components. I mean, if we just worked on the recon helmet first, we would get a new recon helmet faster, I suppose. But. And then armor started. Yeah, so that's kind of annoying. So you started the armor as well. Instead of just completing the project. It must have something to do with the order they're being clicked in. But. Now you're going to do that, and then you're going to go back to work on these projects. Excellent. Uh, we do have an idler. Fitzy's actually idle. We have so many people, but it's amazing how few times that happens. You have nothing to clean, and you, I guess the art bench is being used by someone else. I have to say, that's um, that's pretty impressive, but that's okay. I mean, you're relaxing socially. Go ahead and take a minute doing that. Cold snap, so it is below zero outside, so these things are frozen. They'll still deteriorate. They'll still leave sort of hit points, but that won't affect anything in the end. And that'd be nice if the puppies, which are unrestricted... Oh, hello. And you actually had a, a... The puppies had a puppy. Um, it would be nice if they were hauling more of the rocks in. I'm sure they're doing it from time to time, but yeah. They know they don't do it much. Need warm clothes, which we don't have, but I don't think we're going to start a warm clothes production. The thing is, it's probably not going to get that cold. Yeah, some of our crops are going to die. Oh, including the cocoa tree. Because actual just trees don't die from the cold, but I guess the cocoa ones do. Because they act more like a regular harvest than anything. That's so, and that's fine. We knew a bunch of that was going to happen. We'll probably get a bunch more warnings about that, but we're still completely good. We still have tons of raw food sitting around. Um, the Devil Strand de death probably hurts more than anything else, actually. <laughs> Drilling here. How are we doing on the Plasteel over here? All right, well, there's still some. Can we get the... I have 300 there, and it's not per tile. Oh, it is per tile! 300 per tile, it's not in total. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we've got lots of plasteel still coming. Lots of steel over here. And again, at some point, we might just set up a drill just to keep a steady rock supply. But we don't need to do that now. There's still stone all over the map. And whether we, well, the advantage to drilling it is we wouldn't have to go as far to carry it over, but then we'd need someone on mining duty. Um, and right now, well, I don't know. Honestly, getting more stone might be more useful than getting more steel right now. Heck, even plasteel. Uh, but, I mean, that can go that can go pretty fast. That is a lot of plasteel to have. Like, I feel very rich as a colony. But that can go very, 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 very quickly. I still would love to floor more things over here. I'd also like it if we could get um, more, you know, just sort of attractive farms. Like, we're forced to farm in the pattern of the arable soil over here, the fertile soil. Inspired surgery. Well, that's interesting. Um, that's about it. Now, you have the psychic reader. Do you want to add it to someone else? Like, I think Kitten's got it as well. They have the side link. If I... Can I add the psychic reader to you? Would add negotiation, which might be valuable, because there are certain traders that only Kitten can talk to. It's not going to re remove the side link, is it? No, I'm assuming it's going to put both in. It better. <laughs> Watch it. Oh my god. It's fine. Hey, underground steel. Please tell me it's fine. Please tell me it's fine. Well, 
I don't know if uh, probably it would have been fine. You failed. What's your uh, medical skills on eleven? Maybe it was a really hard job. Failed catastrophically. Um, yeah, no kidding. The problem here. I mean, it, it is it's leaving a mangled scar, which is going to leave permanent pain. That's incredibly frustrating. Also wasted some of our material. Huh. Well, damn. Maybe it was more complicated because there's already some stuff in her brain. I, I don't think that's how it works, but let's tell ourselves this story. It's now above zero with the cold snap. Yeah, so, I mean, the cold... The cold never bothered us anyway. Sorry. <laughs> that's, I, you listen, I did it to myself. That song's going to be in my head for the rest of the day, too, now. Um, drilling here. Or, not drilling, but uh, spotting. This is still got a little bit within a port. I guess we could actually plan to do a reinstall now if I do something like that. Actually, like this. Then we won't actually have to move it again. Kitten's no longer in kibble walking. Hooray! Still a little bit injured. I'm hauling some kibble around. Oh, yes. Keep the uh, barn full. Nothing wrong with that. Recon armor being worked on. In fact, I think the uh, helmet's been worked on as well. They're sort of splitting their jobs. Having to repair the auto doors is annoying. That's one of the things with going crazy on auto doors, is all the repairs. On the other hand, the auto doors do speed up everything in your colony so much. And it's not worth putting on in the bedrooms, I don't think. And I think it's still fine to not have it here. Although I am tempted to build an auto door right there, because there's a fair amount of back and forth. Not infinite amounts, but, you know, a decent amount. That one's unrestricted. There's a lot of, like, unhauled stuff over here. We just have to keep an eye on the... Uh, that, like the percentage hit points of these things to make sure they're not about to like just uh, decay on us be nice if the puppers were to help out on that we've got a lot of people with hauling uh, but there's a lot to do and especially now with the craft turned on for everyone but I think that's still really working out in our favor again mostly it's make sure that there's two people always cutting blocks and I don't think there's anything wrong with that with so many people in our colony Two people always cutting blocks is pretty damn good. Shota, uh, how's your skill gotten? With this stuff. Another. Eh, not bad. Recon helmet. Oh, I think the uh, armor got finished. I don't remember. Maybe what we could do uh, over here or in a separate place so we could keep track of it. We could. Um, critical priority. What are we restoring over here? Oh, the fancy clothes. But um, let's actually. Include in here the regular marine armor. Or, well, actually, yes, marine armor. I meant recon armor, but that's okay too. And then for the headgear, um, recon marine. Actually, we'll enable the cataphract as well. So if we get any of the high end armor sitting around, it will be hauled into this spot over here. So we can keep an eye on things and have an awareness as to what we have to kick around. There we go. Fermentation barrels getting set up. But yeah, it's um, it's so cold in here. It's not the ideal fermentation temperature, but that's okay. Um, it's not the end of the world, and currently it's not like spoiling it. It's not like ruining it yet. It's just uh, fermenting slower, but we haven't actually lost it. The cold snap. Actually, I don't remember how long this was gonna last. It was gonna be a kind of annoying, wasn't it? Six point three days. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. We're going to get through this perfectly okay. Come on, by. Cutting stone blocks. Okay. The, the blocks that are left are right at the edge of the map. I'm going to go so far to get it. Yeah, that's fine. Do we find any more patches inside of our base? Uh, steel over here. That might be new. I don't remember. That was more plasteel over here, which is fine. Nothing else inside our base. We actually haven't scanned anything at all down here, which is kind of interesting. Tons of steel sitting around over here that could be hauled in. That's the thing, our steel uh, count over here, which is ludicrous, doesn't even include some of the steel that's sitting outside the base. I don't know, maybe I could move one of the um, one of the mining rigs that are on steel and just put it on random stone and inside the base just to prevent some of the hauling. I suspect that will happen when one of these patches get done. Um, this mining drill over here, there's not that much. I guess there's still a little square over there, but can't cover it. We might actually just ignore it. I don't know. Um, there's not that much left here. 
Because it's going to go pretty fast, not having any walking speed, or like not taking any time to walk to this mine. Um, it's always going to be closest to people, so they're always going to prioritize this one. I think we're going to burn through this one fairly quick, and, and some of the squares are already a little bit used. And then I think I'll move it probably outside, just because it, the, the drill in this room feels dumb. On the other hand, it means this person's not outside when they're doing the drilling. And they'd probably prefer working indoors with the drill, but it just it just looks too stupid to me. I'm a hundred percent gonna have to move the, um, the the drill outside. Otherwise, I'm gonna go nuts. Uh, travelers are passing by. That's fine. We can just ignore them. I mean, we can capture them. We can do various things, but I don't think we, we care about that. How's this room? Okay, so this room is laid down. We still have tons of marble blocks. So what I'm gonna do? Flooring. Uh, fine flooring. I'm gonna make it out of marble. And I will replace uh, some of what's there before. Although, ooh, there's not actually enough to finish. We have 20 per tile. I want to make sure that whatever stone I use, I have enough to do the entirety of the floor. So I guess I'll wait until I have 1,300 of uh, stone. You know what's funny? I was just in conversation about moving this outside. I was saying, well, one of the interesting things is we can, like, do we want the insect infestation to have inside the base, outside the base, what's better? I guess out here we might have some guns. Now, these infestations are not as big as, like, the regular, you know, they just show up from our indoor mountain slots. Ooh, you guys might be in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, you're going to be fine. Um, I'll position you over there. I'll move Gray there as well. A few more people coming in. Uh, many. You might get caught in the crossfire, but I actually think actually there's enough bodies that are going to be in the way. That it's not going to push me to the I'll try to get out so that you don't get out here. Down. Now. So I guess it's, my, it's not the recon armor that prevents him from getting knocked down. Were people, is it, do we have cataphract armor? Is that maybe what people are talking about? That like, oh, uh, the insects aren't going to be able to get through this? I don't know. We might shoot each other a little bit more again. Oh, I gotta remember to use a stun. Oh, my table! Such a nice table. Oh my god. Tons of things are being downed. Okay. On recruit, everyone. Finish off. Uh, allow everything. At least it will get rebuilt. <laughs> Immediately cleaning here. Because it is sterile floor. And that's a high priority job. It, it, it's going to be pretty short. So I think it's going to be okay. Um, hopefully no one lost any body parts. You're okay. I don't think any of that's new. Because we'd see like, you know, someone getting patched up. Your spine has been shattered. Well, we can make a bionic spine. Top priority, above everything else. Bionic Spine for Manny. You're gonna be okay, buddy. We've got you. Wow. Shattered Spine. Zero of 25. Auto can- Oh! Oh, you got shot in the back here! I was gonna say, because I, I, like when I put him here, I'm like, we're probably not gonna get any crossfire. I wasn't thinking you'd get shot in the back. It would have been better one step in so the door could close behind you. You were shot in the back with a turret. That's what I didn't think about. Oh no. Um. Okay, let's haul you into the freezer. Even though, as per usual, we may not care that much about the insect meat. Although apparently, selling a bunch of kibbles is quite nice. Let's not let. Let's let, let's not let you go to waste. Wow, had a hard time with that for some reason. It's okay, Manny. We just don't worry about it, buddy. We're gonna take care of you. Believe, believe, Manny. Now uh, you are gonna spend a little bit of time in bed before we get that uh, worker lending. You want me to lend you four colonists? They'll give me some honor. Tech print for compact weaponry. I mean, I don't. We don't want compact weaponry because it's like the bio stuff, but it does lead to poison synthesis, which is kind of interesting. Venom talons, venom fangs. Um, I think we're gonna ignore that. We're not gonna send them many people. Got some damage. Maybe I'll put a high priority hole on that gun just to stop the door from being stuck open. 
because it is quite frosty in there. I don't think we've got a heater in this room. We don't have a heater in a lot of places, just the bedrooms to prevent the slept in the cold debuff, and that's pretty much it. Because it's not actually so cold that it's a problem for anyone, but if it is a bad temperature, people might work a little bit more slowly, and that might be annoying. Um, are you working an advanced component? There we go. Work on the spine. Please. Why would you start the advanced component when I put this as a top priority? Some confusion about who was working at the bench or something weird like that? I don't know. Hey, you are pretty hungry. All right, I'll let you eat. And then you're going to take a simple meal to your inventory, and then you're going to clean... I mean, oh, you're probably cleaning one of the high priority slots. But yeah, let's put you back on here. Pleased to be finishing the Bionic Spine. I mean, Manny's still in bed just from regular injuries at this point, so I actually don't think we're going to lose much time on Manny, despite the shattered spine. Everyone's in a halfway decent mood against some of the characters. It's a little hard to see. It's nice that Fitzy is so happy that it's above the shoulders, because it's otherwise difficult to see. Yang is the only one I'm not 100% sure on. You're not feeling great. Oh, you do have the Mechanites. And then some extra pain. And you got rebuffed by two different people, Fitzy and Chantal. Well, dang. Sucks to be you, buddy. Alright, Bionic Spine is happening. I'm excited. The Bionic Spine does actually turn people into, like, more powerful people. Because you do get a buff. I mean, maybe we should just go around, like, adding more Bionics to everyone. Well, that's sort of the idea here. It's partially, like, we'll get to the point where we've got some extra Bionic parts sitting around, and then we're going to start casually just upgrading people, even if they're not missing body parts. Let me check quickly. I think the armor is still probably the most important thing in that batch. I think I'm still happy with the uh, the general order of this. What are we doing? Onyx Vine is done. So what I'm going to do is just cancel this. Because that causes you to drop it right away, which means it'll show up in the list over here. Because if someone's hauling it, it doesn't show up in there. Boom. Install Bionic Spine. Now, Dora, you're going to do it. How are you doing? Okay. You don't have any real penalties to your manipulation or anything. I mean, you're, you're tiny bit injured, but don't botch it. Nice! Bionic Spine. Is it only 100% efficiency? Is Bionic Spine not better than a regular one? Because a lot of the other Bionic parts gives you, like, you know, slight movement speed boost for the legs, and I think the slight manipulation boost for the arms, and I would have thought the spine would come with a buff. Matches the performance of Biological Spine. Well, there it is, right in writing. It's not any better. Maybe to stop it from being like an obvious upgrade for everyone? I don't know. Working on the advanced components again. I don't know, maybe I should reorder this. Get these things to finish first. Why? Oh, you must have taken a, uh, some damage in the battle. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe, uh, I mean, we can keep the regular component one here. First of all, it's not a problem. And secondly, I want it, probably the regular components up here because we need components for all kinds of manufacturing. We actually don't need advanced components for that kind of, um, I didn't, by manufacturing, I meant construction. I don't know if we need advanced components for any construction. Regular components, yes. Advanced components, I know. I mean, probably the ship. Maybe for the big turrets? Even then, I would be kind of surprised. No, see, regular components. Maybe we can just move the, the advanced components down to the bottom. Make sure that started projects finish a little more quickly. Yeah. Alright. Now the kitchen's not overflowing. Oh! Um, oh, did things get hauled in? How's this? Okay, this is getting close to spoiling. I think people are getting around to hauling this stuff. But yeah, let's um, put some high priority hauls on our little farming areas. Okay, it's mostly taken care of. I guess people were hauling this in here because it was closer. But yeah, let's encourage them to bring this in before it uh, they decay. Yeah, temperature's not a problem. Although it's no longer refrigerated either, despite the cold snap. It's nearly 20 degrees and rising because we are in a toasty area. Like, the, we went through the whole volcanic winter without it ever getting chilly at all. It was like, it was just mild. I think it was still in the teens the entire time. Okay. Um... Oh, 
because they've reached 50% quality. I'm like, why do we have so much of this and we're still making it? Okay, far gold is expired. That's fine. So we can sell this armor. I mean, I'm sure the next time a vendor comes that has it, we will notice. Oh, but this is not actually in vendor range. Is that what was going on before? Did I have another thing? Okay, never mind. Let's cancel that and do this because it's not actually covered by our little scanner. Hmm. I could make a strip of storage that does reach it. Inspired surgery, Fitzy. Hey, that might have been useful a little while ago. Stanislav's still lying here. You had some pretty serious injuries, but you are going to be fine. You do have the itchy scar on your chest, which is unfortunate, but not a big deal. Cleaning's okay. Yeah, we might end up doing limestone flooring in this room after all. Because, I mean, right now, the on the map, it, we have limestone. We don't actually have a ton of marble. What we could do is we could use marble maybe to re to finish the wall so the we don't have this discolored bit. And then we'll just use the limestone for the flooring because we are getting a steady supply of it. Which sounds kind of nice. Sure. Calling hay. What are we doing over here? Oh, there's actually still quite a bit to haul in over here. Okay. Minor break wrist, a little bit of vomit over here. Why is someone sick? Is someone who had surgery and then vomited later? Come about is in bad shape. Okay, mostly. Oh, you did have a sleep in the cold. Where's your bedroom? So this heater wasn't enough to keep this from falling into the cold. Uh, that's probably just from when it was actually really cold. It shouldn't be an issue anymore. Target temperature 18 degrees. So yeah, it just wasn't quite enough. But I don't think there's a reason to put a second one in there. We have a ludicrous amount of heaters in here because it's sort of one of our bug handling plans. We'll see how that goes. Probably the heat will just get taken out when this IED fires. So it's probably all moot. But I don't know. Belt and suspenders. Maybe it won't get destroyed. Maybe it won't kill enough bugs. We'll see. Alright. Recon armor. Yeah. Uh, a party? Well, you know what? A mood boost's not a problem. Sometimes I worry about the parties because it's like we're losing productivity. But we could probably use a bit more of a mood boof, boost. A mood buffer. Alright, medicine is medicining from over here. We still put a limit on there just, I don't know, in case. But it's pretty goofy. How much does this medicine stack do? I think it is 75. This stack is of 25. That's probably all the meds we've got, isn't it? No, it's not. We have 90 meds. Maybe you just stack to 25. These aren't stacked, so it's a little hard to tell. If I go and say, high priority hall. No, you're where you need to be. I'm thinking 25 is how far the stacks. Maybe we could just set this... You know what, I'll set it to like 100, because it's four stacks. Um, it's full, full stack there, plus three extra stacks in our stockpile. Yeah, that's going to feel like a, a fairly good target. Although, then we have this herbal medicine that just takes up uh, storage space over here. Maybe we just want to convert everything into medicine. We could always sell an excess. I don't know. I guess it comes down to, do we want to turn all of our neutromine into medicine? That might have been part of the thinking as well. What I'm going to do is I'll put a few... Um, few jobs in here. I can't remember. Flake or Yayo. One one of them is more valuable than the other. I don't remember. I don't really care. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all these jobs in there. We'll put a do forever. So if we end up with uh, psychoid leaves or whatever, um, for some reason, I mean, we're not growing it, but if we end up with any, we'll just go ahead and turn them into drugs so that we can sell. I mean, we could start growing some if we wanted more money, but we're actually doing pretty good financially. <gasps> the plague. Okay, it's only affecting one person. You're gonna consume I'll let you consume your meal. And then, are you gonna go lie down? Okay, you're gonna take a meal to inventory. Yes, you're gonna go lie down. Good. Because I can force it, but like, well, we can let you feed yourself. It's gonna be okay. So you're gonna be tended. I think you'll be fine. Fine, you got the sensory mechanoids and the plague. Should we just anesthetize him for a little while so he doesn't, like, flip his shit and, like, start roaming around? Because that actually would be annoying. But at least the plague hasn't spread to anyone else. Like, it only hit one person. He's being treated right away. He should be okay. Oh, some underground plasteel scanned over here. Cool. It's nice to find more. I think we, we could definitely use some underground um, gold, I think. 
something we don't have infinite amounts of. We only have 26 left. We do need it for some things. Insect meat is rotting away. Yeah, I mean, I could force the kibble job, but we're, we're doing... Our cooks are doing things. We don't we don't need to force the kibble. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. I guess we're not refrigerating it. I think I, I prevented the refrigeration of the thing. I don't know. Maybe we'll get you to make some kibble for all rots. Doesn't actually matter that much. Oh, in fact, you stop. That might be the last of the insect meat that just rotted, actually. Because it would have all been cut up at about the same time, so it would all rot at about the same time. And that's okay. Kit, yeah. It's too bad Kit can't do anything other than research, but at least there is a, a research busy work. Oh, flash storms. That's fine. We're not going to get massive fires out of it because we don't have enough grass. The only problem is if it gets a crop. I mean, I guess it could also hit a base. Um. But the issue is if it hits the crops over here, because then we have to walk through a bunch of it out. And we got a zut. Zutala. Um, which has started a fire. I don't even know if this is a part of our home zone. I guess we'll do that. Just to stop it from spreading along the cable. I'll probably de-home zone that after. Presumably someone is coming up here. Because they could have overrid overridden Kemalbar to make them do it. There we go. Done and done. We'll clear this area so that no one comes over here and just tries to clean. Uh, I can cancel the rebuilding of that. Deer pack is migrating through. I don't think there's any reason for us to go and hunt the deer. At all. We have over 600 fancy meals. And yeah, we're cooking. We've got the cook find meals forever job clicking in here because of the, uh, it's at the bottom. Like, we have enough simple meals that we satisfied with anything, so we may as well try to make a few more fine meals because, what the hell, right? It'll save a little bit of uh, stockpile space, and then these guys won't trigger. So yeah, this job is 500 of any kind of meal. This is 300 specifically simple meals. I mean, we could throw more simple meals in there. We'll make sure we've got at least 500 of, of any kind of, of simple meals. I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. I, I think we're fine here. Right now, it's just a question of, like, we have so much excess. Uh, Kamabana Shade are actually getting married! Well, there you go. I think that was over here, right? Yeah, Kamabana Shade. I mean, they've, they've been sleeping together for a while. And now they're actually gonna get married. Well, how sweet. And another giant pending disaster. I gotta say, though, our, our bedroom game is, uh, is getting very efficient because there are very few bedrooms actually in use anymore. Because so, like, so many people have paired up. We're ready for, like, another a mission where we get to, like, keep a bunch of guests. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And it is it is kind of silly because we have so much capacity for these guests. And anyway, we're going to put a cut in here, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.